All parish priests have communion calls. These are generally older people or those whose health is compromised by illness. When I was a young priest in a parish, we would take Holy Communion to these people on the first Friday of every month. Often an extraordinary minister would take them Holy Communion on Sundays. One of the people on my list was suffering from cancer. Shortly before her death, the family told me that she could no longer swallow solid foods, but longed to receive Holy Communion. She had been so faithful to the life of the church when she was able to get out of the house. Having made arrangements beforehand on a day that I had the 11 o'clock mass, I consecrated a bit more precious blood than I would consume. After mass, the other parochial vicar took the chalice with the precious blood while I drove the car. We arrived at the family home and began the prayers for the anointing and viaticum. When it was time to distribute the precious blood, we had to find a straw. As I extended the gold chalice to the dying woman, she looked at it and smiled beautifully, despite her pain and the knowledge that her next encounter with the Lord would be after the threshold of death. I rejoiced that I had not put the Eucharist in a more practical container. The woman knew what was being offered, and her smile remains impressed on my heart even after 44 years. She was at home, but recognized that her true home is in heaven, and she was prepared to make that final journey. As happens so often in the gospel, the Lord came to this dying woman and offered her the nourishment for her final journey. She was fortified. She passed away just a few days later. Many times in my priesthood, my thoughts have returned to that tender scene. A woman in pain and close to the end of her pilgrimage could still smile so beautifully as she drank from the chalice of salvation. The Lord always dwells in the midst of his people, but his presence in the Eucharist, both in the sacrifice of the Mass and afterwards in the tabernacle, offers us solace, strength, and a way forward on the journey of life.